Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. We are about halfway to the MRE experiment site, traveling at 40-ish meters per second, which, you know, it feels really slow in a vehicle this big, but it is really fast. <laughs> I'm sure we could go faster, but I'm a little nervous about it. It's kind of like, you know, every once in a while a rock appears on the, not on the horizon, but like just a short distance in front of me and I have to dodge it. And the terrain is getting just a bit rougher in this area. Not rough per se, but some dips and things going on here. Yeah, see this rock over here on the left? It's going to like get really big. It... <laughs> Like, that's not, that's not the way things are supposed to work. I think that's a bug. Anyway. So, I figured I'd take this opportunity to discuss a few things. For example, uh, I originally said that I wanted to take my time with the series and, you know, attack some other bases and do some other things and all that kind of thing. And, and... The reality is this version is still pretty buggy and I'm eager to move on. I've spent a lot of time dealing with crashes and bugs and weird things happening and I think I want to get my I, I want to get back to a regular kind of just survival series. And I know a lot of my viewers, you guys and some people that aren't watching this, some, I've had a few people tell me that they're they are waiting for the the normal series and they don't want to watch um, Escape from Mars. And I understand that, and that's okay. So I would like to... I want to get to something that I'll enjoy more and you guys will enjoy more, but I am definitely going to finish this scenario. I want to do it right but I'm not going to spend more time on it than I need to. I hope you guys are okay with that. I know some of you guys are really enjoying the Escape from Mars series and probably don't want me to do that. But, um, but you'll enjoy the next series as well. I've got some interesting plans. It's not going to be just a normal, you know, start on a planet, build up sort of series. There is going to be something a little different. And I, as, I, as those details get um, figured out, I'll make sure that you guys know about it. Okay, we are two-ish kilometers away. And it is getting really, really rough. And I'm not sure how much closer I can get with this vehicle. Perhaps we need to go scout out what's ahead. I think this is going to be a big old crater right here. And I don't think I'm going to be able to drive down the side of it. So, maybe, yeah. Let's get right up to the edge. <laughs> and come to a stop. Yeah, I did not want to drive down this sheer cliff. So this is the MRE experiment site down here, hidden behind this rock. Should we go take a peek before we uh, try and figure out what to do next? Welcome back, anonymous researchers. The elevator is ready to take you down to the experiment area. Okay. Oh. Nice. I'll take those. And that. You know, I don't have a weapon with me. I'm not sure if I'm going to need a weapon with me, but... One way or another. But let's 
just make sure that we've got what we need. Uh, somebody was asking why I can't hear the uh, the beeps. Are you hearing that? Like, is that making noise to you guys? You tell me. <laughs> because there are certain sounds that I can't hear. My, my hearing is... I'm an old man. Let's just leave it at that, okay? <laughs> There's certain sounds that I can't hear that are in the higher pitch range. So if that's making noise as far as you can hear, then, um, then cool. I cannot hear a single thing happening right now. Nothing. That's nothing to me. So, yeah. Uh, let's grab... Let's do two of each. And where's my gun? I have a bunch of these. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of those in the last episode. Where's my ammo? There it is. I'll take half of it. And I'll take a hundred of it. I want to leave some for just in case I die and lose it. Let's it go. Okay, we have up and we have down. Yeah, apparently we're going down. Scan completion progress at 342%. Atmosphere is 95% nitrogen, 3% oxygen, 1% argon. Trace amounts of carbon dioxide. Hmm. Okay. Sure, I'll take those. Oh, yeah. I love this. I, I, I remember this from last time. It's very cool. Hang on, I want to get rid of these signals so we can see this properly. Turn lights on. So cool. What's this one? Turn the lights off. No, I don't want to turn the lights off. They look cool. That's a bunch of scrap. <laughs> okay. But they actually have grass growing in here, and I don't know. So the idea was, I believe, to terraform the planet, but people didn't want that to happen. And so they actually ruined the atmosphere in here to kill the researchers, which sucks. I don't think there's actually danger blasting explosives. So these are, yeah, explosives and explosives. I don't have any use for those right now. And then this is, yeah, okay. Not a whole lot here. And here we go. What is this? System status, 45 system tests failing. Life support negative. Air control systems at 23%. Conclusion, human repair needed. Estimated time, five days. And we have one working oxygen generator. We have a little bit of ice in it. Woohoo. Let's see, and then back here, this is their reactor, but it's damaged. Okay. And then computer systems, but this needs construction components and steel plates, or needs to be removed. Yeah, there was some bad things that happened here. What's this? Uh, initiate initi in, uh, initializing MRED or Mars Research Expedition Database AI systems online distress beacon critical error error processing minor error reactor critical error vocal systems minor error backup power active these computers are just for show and then there's a conveyor for some reason why is there a conveyor there oh that was to connect to that <laughs> really didn't run into the wall that hard. And then over here, what do we got? 
Does that not have anything? Okay. Uh, hey guys, remember it's movie night tonight at the beach. I found an old classic TV show. It was the best sci-fi of its time. Apparently they only made one season and a movie because they were worried it would make all the other TV shows look bad, Millie. Oh, that's a reference to Firefly. Um, my favorite sci-fi series of all time and many other people's as well. Uh, Pittman, do not even think of using that experimental jump drive to hide the freighter in the cavern. If you get the calculations off, you could damage both it and the experiment. Viera. <laughs> God damn it, Pittman. <laughs> that sounds like it's a reference to something, and I don't know what it is. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. You know, while you're hitting the thumbs up button. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's it. Uh, this this movie thing is the saddest part of this scenario. Like it is, it it makes me legitimately sad. Should we go take a look? So yeah, over here they were watching Firefly, and they all died. Makes me sad. But well done, duck roll. I gotta say. Okay. So we've got, oh, that's a chair, okay. Uh, this, by the way, is all ice if we need more, but I don't think we do. And then one more guy over here that's buried in the ice and I don't know why, that's okay. And over here, over here is the fun part. The next step we have to do. Scan, show an ancient Iguana class freighter. None of its systems are active. Repairing it will take some time, but it may also be your only way to leave Mars safely. Yep, it is indeed my only way to leave Mars. Is there any reactor juice in here? I mean, yeah, uh, uranium. We'll find out later. So this guy up here, whoops, I thought my lights were off. Okay. This is our partially complete freighter. He's been damaged and destroyed and mistreated. But we're going to put him back together. Yeah. Right? Let's do it. Okay. Flight seat. No. Let's... I'm not actually going to do this right now, but this is kind of the general idea, is take parts from other places. Still need more computers and displays, but we're going to take parts from other places and we're going to put this thing together because, and I, this is the genius part of this scenario, there's only one way to get off of a planet of this size, and that is uh, hydrogen. With the current settings, it's impossible to get off of a planet without using hydrogen engines. Well, we don't actually know how to make hydrogen engines. We can make a hydrogen tank, and there's no way to find out in this scenario how to make hydrogen engines. But there's hydrogen engines on this. So we need to actually use the hydrogen engines that are already here. So I think, yeah, there's a whole bunch down here and all that. And then we'll have to actually make our way, like drill our way out of here. Which kind of makes me wonder, actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to run Right back over to the cockpit, and I'm going to set a GPS point. The GPS point will allow me to see how close we are to the surface. New from current position. Yeah, I'll just leave it as that. I don't care. So now, when we go back out to the uh, Mars Mobile Base... Ah, I can't remember. MM, it's the 
the wheel bit thingy up there. Then we'll actually be able to see how far away we are. So it's one kilometer that way, basically. But a lot of that kilometer isn't... Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's, let's go take a look here. So we're... I mean, it's just a few hundred meters that direction. So if I were to, say, attach some engines, like flight engines, large atmospheric style, to this guy, and then maybe some mining equipment to it, maybe change those out for um, drills. Let's start with the flying bit. And we're going to use um, Vector Thrust again, because honestly, that just makes the most sense. I have no idea how many thrusters it's going to take to lift this thing off the ground. So let's start off with two of the largest ones possible. If I try and put a large thruster there... As it rotates, it's going to hit that. Because large thrusters are large. Yeah. And then we'll put... I think we'll put it there. I just want to make sure... That we don't end up with, you know, collisions between the thruster and other items. Probably could have put it further out, but... Oh well. Large atmospheric thruster. Holy cow. We need a lot more thruster, or a lot more parts. Um, yeah. And there we go. Oh, no, don't try to fly away. Nope, nope, nope. Thruster off, please. Hopefully it didn't pull us over the edge of the map or something. No, we're good. Okay. And this time, I say we turn that off before we finish it. Okay, so using... Um, Using vector script, this, if this can get us off the ground, this will allow us to go forward and backward and up and down. But it's not going to let us go left and right. Also, we don't have any uh, gyros on this, so we would not be able to actually rotate. So we're going to need a gyro. And we're going to need another thruster to handle left and right. So I'm thinking up here should do the trick for the left and right. And I don't think we're going to need an, uh, large ones. So let's just, well, let's get the parts. So this right here is going to be horrendously underpowered for... Um, like, for actually trying to keep this thing from hitting the ground. This is mainly going to be just for a little bit of control left and right. It, we're not designing something that's going to spend a lot of time in the air. <laughs> we're designing something that's going to just be enough. Hopefully. Hopefully. Because what I want this to do is fly down and get close to, like, closer to that base without rolling down the hill and destroying itself. 
I also want some ro uh, some gyros. Should I put them up here? I'm kind of thinking I want to put them up here. Could put them down here. Like that. You know, yeah. Let's put them down here. I'm going to put... I'll do three. One, two, three. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it just decided that it was a flying ship. I apologize for all of the OCD people in the audience. I know. I know. Just don't look at it. Just, just don't. Okay. Now, we need a vector thrust script. Let's put it right there. Browse workshop. Vector thrust 2. Check code. Okay. It's running. Now we just need to go in and add in a couple of commands. So, the programmable block... I'm gonna run... Oh wait, it's a uh, percent standby, right? I think. Doesn't mean I remember anything. Percent jetpack. Okay. I'm not sure if standby is on or off. Oh, there we go. It's doing something. Okay, I cannot get off the ground with these. I'm not surprised. Oh, and look at that. I'm actually maxing out my power. Of course I am. Okay. Let's go to standby. And let's go fire up the nuclear reactor. That should give a lot more output. And let's try this again. Whoops. Jetpack on. Hey, 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 look at that. We are gaining altitude. Still maxing out the uh, thruster or the power, but that's okay. For the most part, we are doing well. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start by setting this down in the bottom of the crater. I need a good screenshot for the thumbnail. That's pretty good. Ooh. I also need to be able to see, though. This the, the engines are so underpowered for this, but... I also love how when I turn, it actually turns the wheels... Oh boy. Oh boy. This is a hilariously bad idea. Okay. We're we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Oh. No, no, no. Okay. Yeesh. So I just want to get this down into the crater here so that I have access to it like faster access to it from the main entrance because for a little bit I'm going to be running back Should and forth. Low. <laughs> of course it is. Ship fuel low. Okay, let's get it down on the ground sooner than Ship later. Shush, shush. Oh! Ship fuel low. Okay. It's okay. I didn't need that one or that one. <laughs> well, guess this is where I'm going to be now. Yeah, that was that was a short-lived couple of large thrusters. I probably have nothing but scrap left, if even that, over here. Where did they hit? One of them hit right there, and there is nothing left. Cool. Let's go straight in this way. 
Got a break out any second now. I'm only a hundred meters away. Hmm. I think my game might have frozen. What do you think? Do you think my game froze? I think my game froze. Nah, it's time for a lunch break anyway. Nom 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 nom. Finished my lunch. Had a hungry man dinner. You know, one of those frozen meals. I think it was meatloaf. Not really sure. Didn't look at the package. I just kind of grabbed one out of the free freezer and chucked it in the microwave in my office. Had a Mountain Dew with it. You know? I believe in eating healthy. Not for me, but for other people. You know, health eating healthy is a good idea. For myself, I just eat whatever's in front of me. So, yeah. I think we have a general idea of the path that the ship is going to take when it exits. Now we're going to build some sort of something to make this hole a lot bigger. And we've got to actually make that ship functional. Stop running into things. Ow. Okay. Yeah, that's not so bad. So we'll end up making this thing functional, separating it from the rock, lifting it off, then probably trying to turn it around in this space and taking it out through a much larger version of that hole that's up there. I'm, it's going to have to be a big hole, but we'll figure it out. In the meantime, however, we are going to have to finish up this episode. I know, right? Hardly fair. It's okay. We'll get back to this next time where we will work on making this ship functional. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to scale it down quite a bit too. We're going to chop off everything that's unnecessary. And yeah. Yeah. Maybe move some things inside. I wonder if we could get the uh, wheeled base thing hmm, into here somehow. We'd have to make a pretty big hole. Well, we're going to have to make a big hole anyway. Maybe we should start with making a big hole and then bring the wheeled base thing in, land it down there, chop this thing down to size, turn it into a functional ship, and then get out of here. I wouldn't mind trying to separate some of these hydrogen engines and putting them on the wheeled base thing instead of going the other way around. Oh, you know what I just thought of? If we make this thing small enough, we don't actually need all the engines. Hmm. Maybe what we need is just to cut one of the engines off the side, put a hydrogen tank on it, and then use atmospherics to aim it. You know what I mean? Hmm. Well, you guys, give me your comments down below on what you think we should do, what approach we should take. And we'll do one of those. But for now, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little alarm bell if you want to be alerted to new episodes, and I'll see you next time on Epic Tech.